Hey everybody, I do want everyone here, everybody here from uh, Got Next Gaming, uh, coming to you tonight with um, a little something different than I usually do. Obviously, I do mostly video games, and I've been showing you the um, YouTube uh, room, studio, whatever you want to call it, uh, coming together here, and uh, we're going to uh, take a look at a little something here that I picked up today. I went down to the uh, Apple Store and picked up a Airport Express from Apple to uh, extend my Wi-Fi network. I had a little trouble the other night, kind of a funny story. Um, my wife was trying to watch Netflix on uh, on TV and I was here uploading a video and then trying to connect to PlayStation Network and uh, everything just kind of crashed. And we are far away from the router on this side of the house. The bedroom's kind of right next door. And uh, the signal, I guess, kind of got weak and it just, it was too much all at once. And with the amount of distance between there and here, I decided it was time to extend the network a little bit, so that's why I picked one of these guys up. Um, I like these. These are pretty cool since I have an iMac. Um, kind of stick to the Apple theme there and keep it going. We're going to open this guy up. Not much to the box. It's got the Airport Express, which looks like a white Apple TV, third generation. It's got a couple ports on the back there, power, and your Ethernet connection is a USB port um, for a printer, and then like a headphone port there if you want an auxiliary jack or whatever for music. Uh, in that box inside the box you have the power wire keeping it simple again and then of course the setup guide um, it's supposed to be really really easy to set one of these things up uh, I already have one so we're going to be extending the network on this but extending the network is supposed to be really easy as far as like clicking a couple buttons and that's exactly what we're going to do here I'm going to show it to you uh, on the iMac I'm going to set it up and do a little screenshot there for you guys to see that to watch the setup of this and see how easily it goes and we'll see uh, how it works out for us and if uh, it's true to its uh, its uh, its billing in that it's super easy to set up a couple of clicks and you're you're off and running right okay uh, we'll catch on the flip side on the Mac all right ladies and gents so we are back here um, getting ready now to put my Airport Extr Express, not Extreme, sorry, Airport Extreme with the nice big tall one. I did not get that one of those. Um, my Airport Express hooking this up to extend the network. So we'll take a quick look here. Um, let me show you on screen here. What we have is the Airport Utility. This is the current uh, Airport Express that we have in right now, connected to the internet, and shows Russo Airport Express. That is us, that's me, John Russo, my last name. Um, for our network. The nice thing about these guys here uh, is they're dual channel, so it's 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Now, if you wanna know the difference of that, Google it, go find out what it means. One is for distance and the other is for stability. Um, these are nice because it does both. So if you have something that's close by and you want the stability, you put it on one, not on one of the frequencies and if you need something that's a little bit further out, then you put it on the other frequency, uh, so to speak. So if you have something that's kind of moving around, it might be better on the, on the distance uh, gigahertz rather than the stability gigahertz. You know, something that's right next to it, steadying there, and it's not gonna go anywhere, you put it on that one. Uh, I will put my drop down here quickly for you. You can see mine, and then you can see a couple of uh, uh, other ones here. So I have the regular one, then I have the five gigahertz, and then I have a guest network too. The nice about this is that you can set up a completely separate guest network. So people come into your home, if you wanna give them the Wi-Fi, you can, and they have a separate password, and they're not on your network, so they can't possibly hack in, and pick up all your stuff or whatever, kind of secures you a little bit more in that regard. They're not able to get through and see other things on your network that you potentially don't want them to see or whatever else. Um, you can see some other ones here, probably the neighbor stuff or whatever, but uh, even though there's not that many houses close to me, it's pretty interesting that I'm still able to pick that up. I don't know if that's a, uh, uh, like a, a kudos to the to the Wi-Fi uh, antennas in the, the, the iMac or if it's just that their signals are that strong. But I don't imagine so because, like I said, mine is struggling at that and needs a little extra boost here. So we're definitely going to set that up. Uh, we're going to plug this guy in now. I set up my wire over here for now. I will work on cable management and everything else later on uh, as well for that. So let's just get plugged in and see if that if it gets recognized. We're supposed to be able to just pick up on the... I think we can see the... Uh, can we see that flashing green light there? I don't know if we can see the green light flashing. That's yellow. We should be able to pick it up instantly through the airport utility and then um, we will be able to follow the on-screen instructions for uh, connecting to an existing network so to speak so let's see what happens when we do this and I 
I've got a solid amber light. And nothing else right now. So let's quit airport utility and restart it. And there it goes. One other device, Airport Express D6AA42, whatever that means. So let's prepare this network here and see what comes up when we do this. It's joining the Airport Express, examining. So here it is right here. This Airport Express will be, will be set up to extend Russo Airport Express. So that's exactly what it's doing. The base station name is uh, John's Airport Express. Uh, I guess that's what I named it when I did it. So... Maybe we'll just call this Got Next Airport Express because it'll be set up here in the studio for Graphics Gaming, right? Uh, I think that'll be good. So we'll click Next. Reading settings on Russo Airport Express, and we're going to wait and see what happens with that and see uh, where we're at as far as that goes. Apple Network, joining Airport Express, looking for Russo Net. Waiting for Got Next Airport Express. Looks like it's doing its thing. Still waiting. Still waiting. And we're still waiting. And we're still waiting. Setting up Airport Express to where I see extend Russo Net. Which is what we're doing. I did see up here. I saw this thing kind of flash quickly and then reconnect. And I'm sure that's what it's trying to do. Set up complete. Uh, and it's as simple as that. I mean, that should uh, do it right there. Rooster Airport Express to Airport Express. Setup is complete. And now it is done. So we'll click on done there. And we will see the other Airport Express as well. And we can see everything is green. And this is extended here. So Russo Airport Express and then the Got Next Airport Express is extending that signal right there. Uh, if we look up in here, we just see Russo Net, which is what exactly what we want to connect to. Uh, these two devices are just showing in the utility because those are the two devices that haven't already been connected on it. And we can see all that information. You can see that this is the base station uh, creating that signal in the first place. Uh, it tells you what is showing up on there. And then over here we have this one that is grabbing everything else as well. So it's got a good connection uh, for that and that's Excellent stuff. So very, very simple. I plugged it in. I clicked a couple buttons. I followed the on-stream instructions and I have my extended base uh, station uh, set up to extend to this router here, which is now in the uh, YouTube studio here and uh, all connected and ready to go. And uh, now I'm super excited. It should be, uh, should be a good thing going forward. You shouldn't uh, see any more crashing for anything else. Um, and that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. If you guys have any questions about anything, uh, please leave uh, comments below. Let me know. Uh, I'll try to answer the questions as best as I can. Uh, and uh, that's it. I'll see you around the channel. Bye now.